What do you do when you want to create a more dramatic seascape scene? Something like we see at the beach today. Beautiful bruised sky, those dark blues, purples. The first thing is, of course, your value contrast. You got to get that light dark contrast. That is a key element. A few highlights right at the very end, but uh, it's balancing the lights and darks. For a really dramatic scene, you need more dark than light. That dark sky, those dark purples, dark grays. You need more of those and a few highlights to really set off that contrast. Also the complementary colors, purples, against a bit of yellow perhaps. Or if you got dark blues, touch of orange, very light. And that will create that strong complementary contrast, which also is a big factor in getting that dramatic scene, that dramatic sky. Okay, now I'm back at the studio. I started a painting inspired by what I'd seen on the beach. And this is the progress I've made. And then I'll show you how I finished things off also with the, the tips that we're going to discuss in the video. This is the reference I'm going to use with a beautiful headland heading out to the sea. So tip number two is focus on composition. Consider the placement of key elements such as the horizon line, headland and the areas of light and shadow. Use leading lines and asymmetrical balance in the composition to draw the viewer's eye into the scene and create visual interest. As you can see, I've got the, the headland providing a contrast and the waves drawing the eye to the headland. Tip three is use atmospheric perspective. Capture the sense of distance and depth by incorporating atmospheric perspective. Soften the edges of the clouds, desaturate colors of distant objects, create the illusion of space and enhance the dramatic effect of the dark brooding skies. Tip four is utilize texture for drama. Experiment with different painting techniques to convey the texture and movement in the sky and ocean. Use bold brush strokes, maybe even a palette knife to create impasto effects. Use dramatic cloud formations, add texture to crashing waves. All of these things add visual interest and energy to the composition. Tip 5 is balance warm and cool colors. Play with contrast between warm and cool color to enhance the dramatic impact of your scene. Use cool blues and purples for the shadows of the sky and also bring in some cools into the ocean. Contrast those with warmer tones for the highlights. Could be on the beach, on the breaking waves and of course on the, the headland where we create the effect of light coming through perhaps a sky hole in the clouds and highlighting that headland, creating also that complementary color contrast we spoke about earlier. These various juxtapositions of colors, values and contrasting elements add to the visual impact and also the energy of the painting. So remember that painting a dramatic beach scene is all about capturing the mood and atmosphere of the moment. Experience with these tips, trust your instincts, let your creativity have free reign and enjoy creating a dramatic sky and beach scene. Now having a look at the final painting, I've added a lot more interest into the, the sky itself, bringing in a bit more light, also highlights against the edges of clouds, which I thought would create a much more interesting effect instead of just having a dark mass of clouds. I could still get that impact with the value contrast, but add more interesting elements. Also, the lights in these clouds now tie up nicely with the lights in the headland as well. I felt things were just a little disjointed, one horizontal after the other, and now I think things are more tied up and harmonious. 
So what do you think? Let me know in the comments if this has worked out. All right, I hope there were some useful tips that you can use in your next dramatic sky painting. It could be any part of the countryside that has that bold and dramatic sky with a bit of light coming through the clouds or something like that to really give it that sparkle. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it if you can with your painting friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel. There are plenty more videos coming up so you don't want to miss those. And finally, remember I've got a free painting course for you up here that you can check out and see if there's something there that you'd like to do. All right, until next time, happy painting and cheers for now.